Day 34, and what's becoming a constant struggle for water. All right, I am walking again. I had that little detour down to Bullfrog, got my resupply package, so I am loaded up. Probably the heaviest my pack's ever been because of uh, a little problem with the resupply, I'm now carrying about 10 days of food, which is abnormal. This resupply was supposed to be sent to Height, but the little store in Height is closed, so I had to pick it up about three days early. Normally I carry about a week's worth of food. So anyway, I am back off walking again, and because of that detour, I'm taking a little bit of a route I don't know too much about. Right now I'm walking through a lot of sand, but headed over here for Shudamarine or Shudamarine Creek, depending on which way you uh, want to pronounce it. I think it was originally Shudamarine, and uh, people didn't like that too much, so they changed it to Shudamarine. Anyway, I'm headed that way. It looks like rain up in the Henrys. That's eventually where I'm headed, kind of over the saddle. Pack is heavy, but it feels good to be resupplied and back to walking. All right, day 31. Looks like a storm could be moving in. It's like I'm a magnet whenever I get near the uh, Henry Mountains for storms. It's kind of crazy. Because of the resupply and the route mishap, this is not the way I intended on coming. That's a pretty nice little canyon. I kind of like it. This road here that I figured was just going to be a back road ATV route, it's actually a bigger road than I expected. That said, I haven't seen anyone in the few hours I've been walking up it, so uh, I guess it's not that well traveled. Okay, let's keep her going. Cow is skin and bones. Poor guy. You doing okay? Huh? You're a skinny cow. Okay, I gotta go. Don't follow me. This is the fourth dead cow along this stretch. It's just terrible. It's just again, this is no place for cows. Listen, I'm not a vegetarian. I love a good hamburger, a good steak every now and then, but uh, again, there's a better way to raise the livestock. All right, that's it. Rant over for now. Uh, so I saw on the map there was a mine back here, but I had no idea that there was going to be this big of an operation. Now I see why the road was so big. This is why it's important to have the National Monument status for a lot of Grand Staircase Escalante National Monument, because there's lots of places they would like to make mines like this. Okay, on up towards the Henrys. Storm is holding off for now. It's time for some mac and cheese with some peanut butter. It's gonna be good. Good view back to where I came from. That's a water pocket fold all the way back there in the west. Looking this way, you see the, the Bentonite Hills. Nice colorful striped formation. My original route was gonna go through a lot more of them, but I'm glad I get to see at least some of them along the way. And then on over to the Henry's, Mount Hiller's right there. Looks like the Henry's bad weather curse is finally broken. It's a nice day today. I guess really I'm not going very high into the Henry Mountains, so maybe that's the difference. Okay, let's keep going. Finally, a water source. Doesn't look very good, but I thought I'd drink it until I spotted a dead cow next to it. That's six along this little stretch. Ugh. Number seven, dead cow. Right next to what would be a water source, except for it's dry. And number eight, dead cow. God, it's just so sad. So ridiculous. Oh. It's a pretty hot day out there, so this is a nice place to cool down. I think a lot about deep shade, those shady spots that don't get much sun and it's so much cooler than other places. But this is definitely some of the deepest shade you can find. And it has a nice reverberation on your voice as well. Yo! All right, time for a nap. All right, just getting started going down Sweat Canyon and the uh, Navajo Narrows are already closing in. I like it.
This kills me after passing the spring and it continuing to be dry. I went back and spent about a half an hour doing bottle cap by bottle cap out of this small little seep. And then I finally get back to my pack and walk five minutes downstream and we have all this water. Uh, oh well, I'm happy to have water. Can't believe I wasted so much time getting water out of the spring when just around the bend there are pools of water. So many pools, in fact, I had to get my feet wet. But the water didn't last long. It dried up pretty quickly. So here we are in a dry canyon again. Well, I think I just made it down what is the one and only obstacle in Sweat Canyon. And the conditions change from year to year. And luckily this year is pretty easy. Just this big boulder. There's no water on bottom. Coming down, it's an easy slide to the side. So uh, let's get on down the canyon. So I camped here in the lower end of Sweat Canyon last night and this morning I saw the largest chipmunk I've ever seen. I mean, I don't know, it might have been like a prairie dog or a gopher, but uh, let me turn the camera around. We'll see if we can go see him again. I mean, this guy, he, he was huge. Let's see, he was right over... Uh, oh, there he is! Look at that guy! <laughs> Alright, day 33. We're still having fun, but we gotta get going. Last time I was here, this thing was a roaring waterfall, but not today. Okay, made it all the way down Sweat Canyon, near the end of Trackite Canyon, which is flowing, and now headed down towards Lake Powell. Those beavers, hard at work again. Backing up the creek. My gravity water filter, hard at work. It's slow, but I love it because it works while I can do other stuff. So this used to be under Lake Powell. You can see the silt layers in the creek bed. If you look up high, you can see the bleached white rocks. That's the high level mark. I'm glad it's not that high today. Oh, lake ahead, lake ahead. You officially see Lake Powell now. Since the lake isn't so high this year, I can actually climb off these high cliffs, cross here to the other side and climb back up. Normally when the lake is higher, I have to go all the way around that way, all the way back to the cove and then just stay on that high layer. But this year I get a little shortcut. Hey ducks. Someone's made a little uh, showcase of the petrified wood they found. There's definitely a lot out here. Still making my way around Lake Powell. Okay, no video of this, but I just took a long dip in Lake Powell. It was so good. Just lay back and let the waves roll in over me. Ah, it gave me so much energy. Now we can keep going. Keep going around Lake Powell. It's like I'm on a black sand beach. I guess I am on a black sand beach. Not the kind you find in Hawaii. I have no idea what that was, but it has some good sized teeth on it. And a tail, like a fin. I guess it's a, that's a beaver. It's a beaver. Oh, sorry beaver. Walking along all this driftwood, it's just hard to believe that the lake was once at this level. It could be again. Continuing to make progress along the high cliffs, working my way north up towards height. Here's the spot I went fishing for water on my 2010 hike. Water is definitely a lot lower this year, as to be expected. The reason I know it's the exact same spot is because that tire is still here. Bum bum bum. Looking over to height. Wow, I wish I was there right now. Fresh water and uh, just a lot closer to where I'm going. Day 34 and what's becoming a constant struggle for water. I camped going along Lake Powell last night and uh, 
had water for camp, but now I'm out this morning. It's taking a little bit longer to get down to the lake again. So uh, I'm out of water and it's no fun. It's warm and uh, it's a lot of work making my way along these cliffs. So uh, soon I'll be at water and life will be good again. Finally, the lake and water. Kind of a cool phenomenon. I've never seen the uh, cracked mud with water on top of it. This is the very end of the lake right here. Lake feels good. Lake tastes good too. Check back in a few days to see if I'm still alive. Okay, we're gonna get a bunch of water for the road and we'll filter that later. And we got to go. Found this cool little overhang with some deep shade, gets me out of that sun. Sun is getting really warm out there today. Check it out. So I've decided to cheat a bit. I've, uh, I'm behind schedule and I'm getting ready to walk along a portion of paved road here. Doesn't sound exciting, so I'm gonna try to hitchhike. Man, I'm 0 for 4. What is going on? Do I look like that scary of a character? Well, this sucks. No one's picking me up. It's been like an hour. I have nine people go past. There's probably twice as many people going the other way, unfortunately, but... Uh, yep, I could have been a few miles down the road by now, but uh, I chose just to hang out. I'm pretty exhausted, and uh, I thought it'd be easier just to have my pack stash and look friendly, and someone would pick me up, but it's not happening. That's so awesome. Just when I was ready to give up on humanity, I sat there for over an hour waiting for a ride. Eleven people passed me by. Nobody asked if I needed water or anything. And all of a sudden, my buddy Nick comes along. And he starts swerving because he's going the wrong way with the trailer and uh, gets out and he's with his wife and Jen and um, anyway. They gave me a ride to where I wanted to go so I didn't have to walk on the pavement. They also gave me a lot of good water so I could get rid of that Lake Powell stuff and a bunch of snacks. So all is good. I just feel reborn all of a sudden. So uh, let's get over to Dark Canyon and let's have some fun. Day 34 to Dark Canyon we go. So I'm walking along and I realize I'm, I'm sweating like crazy. Just sweat's pouring off of me. It's not even hot. I mean, I'm getting a good workout, but it's not that hot. Then, it's then I realize it's because I've had so much water. My buddy Nick filled me up with probably a gallon of water just in that short little ride. I just kept drinking and drinking cold water. It was so good. And obviously it's running through my system because I'm sweating it out now. I love it. It's good. It's a time of day I love. It's just so quiet and still out here. It's good stuff. Mm -hmm. 